Hi and welcome to another Radan technical video. This month's video looks at the finish nesting command and its options and settings. The finish nesting command will apply changes made to a nest within Radan's nest modify mode. The command's icon is the pink door looking icon found in the modify nest command panel. Selecting this icon brings up the finish manual nesting dialog which has three tabs. Check the options in each of the dialog's tabs and then click OK to apply the changes to the current nest. The options of the command are separated into three tabs. The Finalize Nest tab provides options for updating the nest annotation and the list of parts in the nest schedule after you have made changes to the current nest drawing. The Remnants tab provides options to create and save remnant sheet drawings that represent the unused pieces of the sheet. This tab will not be available if you are not licensed for shape nesting. And the Automation tab of the Finish Manual Nesting dialog provides options to automatically add tooling to the nest, to define the cutting order for the nest, and to generate NC code. The Finalize Nest tab includes the option to edit the drawing name, which also determines how remnant drawings will be saved since their file names are based on the current drawing name. The drawing name field is already defined if working within a project and therefore inactive. The sheet utilization value displayed will be the new value shown in the annotation. The dialog will also update the drawing attribute and the order text note for sheet utilization. The number of sheets field allows you to determine the number of sheets produced per nest. The dialog will also update the drawing attribute and the order text note for the number of sheets. Let's take a look at using this option in Radan. Notice the parts schedule for the current nest material group lists all the parts as completed and that the number of sheets for this current nest is set to 1 as listed in the nest annotation. When the finish nester command is used to change the sheet count to 2 sheets for this current nest, the nest annotation reflects the new sheet count and the status of several of the parts in the schedule change to an overproduced state. The Add or Update Annotation option will add standard annotation to the drawing or replace the existing annotation with updated information. Back in Radan, note that when the number of sheets is changed back to one sheet for the current nest, and the Add or Update Annotation option is checked. Selecting the OK button updates the annotation listing, the number of sheets, and any other affected information. The Run Automation options will run whatever automation options are selected in the Automations tab. We'll check this out in Radan in a minute. Incidentally, if you're still using the standalone multi-part nester dialog, an additional option is available in this tab to update part counts in the nest schedule. This option is obsolete with nest projects. The Remnants tab provides the option to save remnants to folder if you want to create remnant sheet drawings. The drawings will be saved when you click OK in the dialog. The Folder for Saving Remnants field provides the options to define the location where remnant files are saved. The Folder for Saving Remnants field is already defined if working within a project and therefore inactive. This and other options in the Remnants tab have the same meanings as the options in the Remnants tab of the Multi-Part Nesting dialog, and all options are fully described in the Radan Help system. So Remnants can be generated as nests are made if the Remnants and Automation options are enabled within the Multi-Part Nesting dialog. Remnants and automation can also be generated after nests are made using the finish nesting command. The finish nesting command sets the remnant saved attribute of the current drawing to the number of remnant drawings that it saved. The number of saved drawings is also reported in the information bar in the user interface. The automation tab provides the options to run auto tooling on the current nest. Any tooling already in the nest that was added by an earlier run of auto tooling will be replaced using auto tool settings defined in the manufacturing database for the current machine and material or from the default system data for the machine. You use the automatic tooling dialog to configure and save these settings. 
If an error occurs while running auto tooling from the Finish Manual Nesting dialog, you will be notified of the problem and further details of the error will be logged on the Automatic Tooling Dialog's report page. This and other options in the Automation tab have the same meanings as options in the Automation tab of the Multi-Part Nesting Dialog, and all options are fully described in Radan's Help System. The Sheet Scrapping and Offcuts option will add scrap cuts or offcuts to the current nest. Any scrap cuts and offcuts already in the nest will be replaced using sheet scrapping and offcut settings defined in the manufacturing database for the current machine and material or from the default system data for the machine. You can use sheet scrapping and offcuts dialog to configure and save these settings. The automatic order option generates an order program for the current nest automatically using the auto order text defined by the style file selected from the pull down list. Any order text already defined for the nest will be replaced. And the Compile Blocks option runs the block compiler for the current nest and the NC block saved in the current nest drawing. In this example within Radan, we'll illustrate using these options on a nest within a project containing tooled parts. The remnants and offcut options were not enabled in the multi-part nester dialog when this nest project was run. Since we ended up with a partially filled sheet, we will add offcut tooling and generate remnants using the finished nester dialog. In the Finish Manual Nesting dialog, several options are enabled, including Run Automation Options, Save Remnants to Folder, including minimum square footage we're saving, along with offcuts and other automation options. Selecting the OK button runs the automation activated, and offcut tooling is added to the nest, and two remnant sheets are automatically generated in the Remnants Made folder and listed in the Side Splitter window. If a single remnant drawing was generated using the finish nesting command, the remnant drawing is prepended with the name remnant and number along with an associated nest name or number it came from. Because a separate remnant drawing can be produced for the sheet skeleton and or for each section of the unused sheet that is cut free, more than one remnant drawing may be saved for the nest. In this case, two separate remnants were generated for this one nest so the remnants are called Remnant 1 P4 Job A and Remnant 2 P4 Job A. Since the remnants are named by the nest name they came from, it is important that the current drawing name is accurate at the time the remnant drawings are saved. Since the single part nester doesn't provide an option to include nest annotation, the finished nesting command can be used to add annotation to the nest drawing after the nest is generated. If you add annotation to a drawing, the drawing scale will be changed if necessary to make space for the text. If you are working with a nest that was created by the parts nester, remnant drawings may already exist for the nest. If you use the finish manual nesting dialog to save new remnant drawings for the nest, the old drawings will be replaced, provided that the old drawings are in the same folder as the new ones and that their names match the current drawing name. If you delete a nest drawing from the list of nests in a project, Radan will delete the nest drawing file and any related remnants provided they haven't been released within the project yet. This remnants tab will not be available if you are not licensed for true shape nesting. In summary, we've seen that the finish nesting command provides an automatic method to add or update nest annotation and edit the nest sheet count, as well as automatically generate remnants from unused material and run tooling, sequencing, and compiling operations automatically. Thanks for watching this tech video and stay tuned for more videos from the Radan Resource Newsletter.